All right, the first thing you need to do is format your SD card. So you've got your SD card in the slot of your computer and you want to have, I believe it's like a eight gig up to a 32 gig. So I've got a 32 gig um, SD card uh, that, and we're going to have to format it. So on Mac, go down here to this disk utility, click on, there's the one we want to format. We're going to go up here to erase and we've got to change this to XFAT. Once you do that, erase. Hit done. All right, so we've got the SD card uh, formatted. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Safari, go to Garmin.com. We're gonna go to Marine and go down here to Software Updates. Click onto that, Download Updates Manually. Okay. Now, just have to select which kind of unit you have. You've got an Echo Map, <clears throat> you know, whichever one you have. I've got all GPS Map series. So all the GPS Map series use the same software. So you just go ahead and click Download. It's going to go down here and ask you to agree to all these terms. Okay, the file's nine gigabit, so you're gonna need that 32 card. So, I'm, you know, typically they're not that big of a file. This one's pretty good size. And what it's gonna do when you download, it's gonna download it to your download file. And we will click download. And there we are. We're going into the download file. Okay, now it's downloading. Now I've already downloaded, uh, prior to me starting this video, the file so we don't have to wait because that's just the file number two that it's going to do. So since we've got that already in the <clears throat> download, it has acts on a Mac, it actually has already. Um, expanded the file so you don't have to do anything like you do on a windows so what we'll do is we'll go up here and we'll close that out we'll go ahead and open our sd card and you just want to take the whole file and put it on the sd card and it looks like it's going to you know take about three minutes to download and once we get that file on the SD card, we will go out to the boat and get our units updated. Okay, now that we got the SD card with the update file on it, you want to make sure that you turn the power to all of your units on. So if they're networked already, when you turn one on, they will all come on. So you just want to make sure everything is on because this update updates everything on the network. If whatever you got that's Garmin, it updates it. The only thing it does not update is a trolling motor, the force. So you've got to do that uh, separate. So the next thing you want to do is after everything's powered on, all, you know all the units are on, you just want to insert the SD card. All right, after you insert the SD card, you're gonna get this, that's gonna come up. It's gonna say software update are available for installation on your system. Install now or install later. We're gonna click install now. Now it's going to tell you right now, I've got version 36 on here now. I think we're, 
putting on 30, I'm not for sure what the version is, but we'll go back and check it after we download it. And it's gonna go through and it'll download every unit on your network. And it could take up to 20 minutes to do this, but typically it does not. So I'm gonna say update software. And it'll tell you, do not, you know, uh, it's gonna take a while. Uh, don't interrupt the power. You know, you wanna keep all the, pa the power on the systems. All right, we're gonna go yes. Now, it's gonna go through. I've got on this network, I've got a 8612 XSV, 8616 XSV, 8616 XSV, those are the two bow units, bottom tops, the way I label them. 8612 is the console right, and then we've got a 1243 XSV, uh, which is my left console unit. It's showing, it showed all the versions of software. So it'll go through uh, rebooting, doing different things. We'll come back. So right there, you can see that it uh, says network updates in progress. It says it on all the units that you are updating. Bring network. Do not remove power while this is divide. You know why it's up uh, downloading. All right, you're going to see this screen that's going to pop up. It's downloading right now. One of the eighty-six. 16 XSVs on the bow. I guess it's the bottom one, then we're, it'll go right to the the top unit on the bow, and it's gonna 1243. Actually, the one right now, this particular, the 86 12 XSV is already updated. So now it'll just go from unit to unit, and you'll see waiting, waiting, downloading, and you can see everything that's happening on this unit as it's downloading. Back over here, this is the uh, 1243. So as you can see, now it's installing on the 8616. So it'll download, then it'll install, then it'll go to the next, and then the next. All right, see it, it'll say update complete, update complete. So it's already done the two 8616s. It's already done this uh, 8612 already. And we're in the process of uh, downloading the 1243. So that's that unit right there. All right, it is installing the last update on the 1243. All right. When you're all finished, it's gonna come up to hit restart. You're gonna hit restart. And update is complete. Press restart to finish, we did that. System restart is in progress. And once that's completed, we are finished. So they all basically reboot. Every one of them on a network should should go off and reboot after the software's complete. All right, we got that, we got that. All we gotta do is hit agree. And it basically it saves, everything should be saved. Nothing should have changed. None of our settings should have changed that we already had. All we did is update our software. All right, let's just, see what uh, versions of software that we have in here. So if whatever screen you're on, just go to home, okay? And then go to settings, go to system, and let's go to system information, Garmin devices, okay, now. As you can see, I've got the uh, GLS-10, uh, which is LVS-32. It's got 2.75 on it. 
I've got the uh, LVS 34 and the uh, GLS 10. That's got 2.75 on it. I've got another live scope on the system, which is a uh, LVS uh, 62 with the black box. It's got the same software. Go to the next page. I run a couple of these 24XD antennas. It's a long story on why I have two, um, but anyway, they are 2.33, 2.33, so they're the same. There's our 1243 XSV. It's got 36.12, which it did have 36. Here's our 8612, which is this unit right here. It's got uh, the 36.12, okay? And then we've got 8616, 8616, and I don't know what these uh, virtual N2K uh, input handler deals are, but um, whatever they are, I'm not for sure, but they always come up as a virtual. Um, I noticed that they do have some uh, version of software associated with them, and they do have a unit ID number. Don't know about that. Um, but anyway, that's all you do. Then once you're finished with that then you're good i mean everything should be the same as what it was before you uh updated i always just uh power my units off and take the sd card out you can reformat it and have it ready for the next garmin update